All right, so getting ready for Vol State. I leave in a day from now to go down to Campbell and meet people and eat the next, the next last supper. But I thought I would video what I'm taking with me and then I'll update it when I'm done and just see um, if I wanted to add more or take stuff away from what I'm taking in my pack and the clothes. So, without further ado, here All we go. Alright, so, first thing, socks. Right here, um, Nijinji, I like Nijinji socks. Um, you can see there's two pair there, that's which I'm actually going to wear. Um, sock liners, really, really thin, and then the thinnest socks they will have um, for my feet. Um, this is probably the only thing I have that's not fully um, black, fully light colored, but um, I couldn't find a light color that would uh, absorb, so that was about as light as it gets. So, not everybody likes Najinji, but I'm partial to them. Um, and on top of that, there'll be desitin coating my feet pretty much the whole way. Um, and go from there. Shoes. Ultra Torn Plush 4.5s. Um, I got them off Running Warehouse. They happen to have them on sale because they're getting ready to come out with the fives right now, or they are out. Um, and these shoes have uh, 60 miles on them. So I am partial to Ultra. Um, with Ultras, I, I normally wear a 12. With Ultras, my toe hits the end of a 12 just barely enough it's annoying um so i always wear a 12 and a half so i naturally wear a half size bigger for me um hat a white columbia uh hat with the gray on the underside because white on this side reflects so much it just sends um like sending the sun into your eyes you can see the dots there it's Columbia's cooling technology that supposedly when it gets wet, it uh, helps cool you. Um, on the hat, I'm not sure it works great, but the hat really works well. As, uh, take it off, wipe your face, and this part gets wet, and it works really, really good. Shirt. Uh, Columbia, again. Um, I forget what the name of that shirt is. Um, I got it off Columbia's website. It's got the same dots that are the cooling technology. I'm partial to button-ups for long stuff because you can unbutton here, get some air there. You can unbutton down here below the pack line and get um, more air if you need it. Also have a pocket here if you so desire to put something underneath you. Um, the other thing this shirt has is this, which of course your pack is sitting on, but it does breathe pretty well even with the pack on it. So I like that. Um, shorts. And you can see um, two XU, which these happen to be turned inside out. So, but uh, I'm partial to Spandex shorts, um, that's the only short that I've found that does not chafe me. Um, regular shorts just chafe so bad that I can't, can't do them. Um, unless I know if you're a guy, this little thing right here is incredibly important. Uh, it allows you to have, have a little more freedom of movement and have things not smashed against you totally. Um, it does have a pocket in it to carry stuff. Um, I know it's designed for your phone, but I don't ever put my phone in it. Uh, it may occasionally get trash or who knows. I may find something to put in it. So anyway, that is the clothes I'm going to wear. Next up, I'll show you what I got in my pack. All right, um, pack and what I'm putting in it. Um, pack is nothing special. Uh, Ultimate Direction. You've seen these uh, on every race you go to. Um, 8.5 liter. Um, so the, the race pack. I think it may be 
signature series. Yeah, nothing special. Um, and everything else that goes into it. It weighs uh, 3.7 ounces, 3.8 ounces. I just weighed it and won't remember, but um, 3 pounds, 8 ounces. Um, it's light. Um, pretty much if I can buy it and I don't need it ASAP on the road, I wasn't taking it. So without further ado, my pack and what I'm All taking right, here in. Here it is. Uh, like I said, Ultimate Direction Race Pack uh, Signature Series. I just bought it this year. I bought it specifically because it's light color. You can't hardly find a light color pack. Uh, I didn't want white because they showed dirt too bad. Uh, but I won't, didn't want a red, black, or blue one either because it seems like everybody has those. Um, the two bottles that go with it. Uh, that's a 10 rain poncho, which may or may not be used for rain. But and then a space blanket. I got five of these rain ponchos off of Amazon for like 10 bucks, And roughly the same thing for the space blanket. They don't weigh much. Um, anti burial hand wipes, which is toilet paper. Charger um, for my phone, which is not in there right now. And block, which folds has a folding piece in it. You can see, and charger for my phone. Uh, chopstick. Uh, you need that on the road. I got two of these. Um, I'll show you where all the stuff goes. One for the front, one for the back. Um, my wife found these someplace, but they, uh, they are pretty nifty. Yeah, that, straight bar, a quick flash, and a slow flash. So, put those on my vest, because for whatever reason, this particular pack doesn't have any reflective material on it. Uh, a spare light in case I need, uh, in case batteries on my headlamp or something die. You can see it's pretty bright. Um, it takes the same batteries as my headlamp. Sunglasses need. This is a pretty nifty little item here. Um, basically that. I bought a package of three or four of those off of Amazon for like eight bucks. You wrap, stretch that out around a water bottle and you have a handheld water bottle. I forgot where I saw it, but somebody else had this idea, and I stole it. Spare batteries for my flashlight and headlamp. One set. Can always buy more. My headlamp. Um, if you get one of those cloudy, moonless nights in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, you'll want that. That one card, it'll go in the pack on the back. Uh, I give these a gift card that's going to go deep in the bottom of my pack in case I lose one. And D ointment um, for the few places I'll need lube. Toothbrush, toothpaste. For me, I wear contacts, some solution, and a contact holder. Um, and last but not least, spare pair of socks. And if you notice on the back of this pack, there's already clipped safety pins to put the socks from when they get wet. So, all right, start loading up. Pack is pretty simple. Ultimate directions go here. Obviously, and I know some people are like, yeah, you're gonna get tired of the putting water in and out of those. But I like the soft bottle on my thing. All right, hold on. So there them. they are with two bottles in. These go over the tops to hold them in place. Again, I like the soft on my body. Um, you could, if I have one of these breaks or I have an issue, I'll just get whatever I get at a convenience store and throw in there. Um, it'll work too, but I prefer to at least start with soft. Um, this Desitin goes here and this one that's open it'll also be where i stick um trash and all that kind of stuff but pretty good size deep pocket in there and there's that um the other pocket over here is where i keep food 
as you can see, I got a Slim Jim, Slim Jim with cheese, and RX bar. Um, most of what I get will be at a convenience store. So, go from there. So, ta da. Um, this, one of these, gets clipped to the front right here. Sunglasses and Carmex. Put those up here so I can reach them quickly and efficiently. Um, sunglasses guaranteed the need. Um, they're nothing special. They're cheap ones. Um, if I break them, just pick up another pair at a convenience store. No big deal. Ta-da. So there's the front of my pack. What I'm carrying. Like I said, I can always carry more food. I can carry some more food over here or whatever I want. As you can see, the pack has gotten a few days of of work on it. And it's only about three months old, but I have been wearing it a lot to get used to it. All right. To the back side. All right. This pocket back here um, is important because that is where this card where that card is going to go with some cash and it's going in that pocket that slides between two layers in there so uh, and then that's where i put that one so let me as you can see it. there's also a key holder in there and that's where i'll put my key for my car and just leave it attached to there um pretty simple thing also this one will go at the bottom of my pack with some cash also um so i have a spare in case i lose this other one and all that all right let me get that in. i added this on the back of the pack that's my back one um so i have one in the front one on the back see my spare socks the sock liners and the regular sock one little small zip up bag all the air out of it and that will go in the back up against my body because it's soft um and then, and then we'll see you know my socks get wet i'm gonna change them all that stuff and then i put these up against my body too because they're soft they're soft and malleable um i don't want anything that's hard jagged like this or these or this against my body because that jagging in and you don't want something poking you in the back for miles on end so right. let me get those out. then these go on there's a little pocket right here on the back side that put the light there and then this stuff next and the andine ointment goes near the top because it kind of molds these just kind of sit in there wherever you can get room for them and this will stay near the top because i will definitely need that but then that again just kind of wherever it'll fit and that bag is for my cell phone which i'm holding uh, so let All me right, put some there more it stuff. is fully loaded and on the back and you can see um i got room in there to put another water or some food or just whatever else i need in there um and I can make create a little more if I want to loosen this up here or tighten it up more if I want. But this is pretty comfortable the way it is. Um, so let me throw it on. All right, here you go. This is a fully loaded pack. Uh, minus, of course, the water is not in there right now. So it'll sink down a little bit like this with fully water. Um, part of the reason I have the shirt I have, collar or flip up on my neck so it doesn't rub here also can flip it up in the back when the sun is down and you need hitting back your neck i can flip that up keep it up my back of my neck turn my hat around backwards if i need to um and you kind of see what it does but these will set down in there more because i don't have them locked in right now uh, you can see the back doesn't stick out a lot and so forth so I'll update this video um, afterwards and let you know if there's something I sh thought I should had something I wish I'd have taken that I didn't, or something I took that I wish I didn't, but I can't think of much. 
So we'll see. Let's we'll see how it goes. All right, Ball State pack update. Um, would I have put anything else in my pack, or would I have taken stuff out? Um, before I get into this, a couple of things. First of all, what I put and used in my pack was strictly what I needed for me. Um, if you decide to use my stuff as a guide, just think about what you do and how you're going to do it. Remember, you're going to carry whatever you stick in your pack for roughly 314 miles. Uh, in my case, that was 350,000 steps, give or take three or 4,000 steps. It was a lot. Um, I finished it in five days, 18 hours, 40 some odd minutes or something like that. And that by no means makes me an expert. It just means that's what I did. Um, a second thing, no matter what you put in your pack, whether you use bottles, bladder, however you decide to do, test it and test it a bunch and think about it. And can I get it on the road? Do I really need it? If I can get it on the road, do I need it right now? And that was my whole premise. Of whatever I took, it was stuff I was going to need right that second if something went wrong. And I didn't want to wait an hour or two hours to get it. Um, so that said, let's move on to the pack. Only things I added to my pack was I added some ibuprofen and Advil. I added the ibuprofen at the end of two and a half days. I was getting a little bit of swelling in my ankle. So I wanted to keep the swelling down to a minimum. And I added the Advil at the end of three days as the pain in my ankle was starting to get pretty tough. And so I was using it to mitigate the pain a little bit so I could still walk at a quick pace and not be, be shuffling along. Uh, would I have bought those and put them in my pack beforehand? I don't think so because you pass thousands of dollar generals and other dollar stores and Walgreens and convenience stores. They have all that, literally. Uh, I think the farthest I went between any stores at all was from Hohenwald to Columbia. And I think that was maybe 20 some odd miles, but there were one, uh, uh, probably six Road Angel stops in between. and. To be honest, I don't remember, but I'm sure they had some of that stuff there and those, I just didn't take it. Um, and that's it. Now, on a personal side of things, one thing I would have done different in my pack, um, and that is the rain poncho. It worked great, uh, not a problem with it, but I think if I did it again, I would buy one of those rain jackets that fold up into the three by five square or something to that effect and stuff it in my pack instead of the rain poncho. And the only reason I say that is I think it would be more versatile. I could use it to stay warm and believe it or not, in the middle of July in Tennessee, I got cold, uh, especially after we got rained on in the middle of the night. You couldn't stay too long at a, at a stop or a convenience store or anything like that, you freeze your butt off. Um, once I was dry, it's fine, but I think it'd have been more useful um, that way. Um, the other thing is, once you use the poncho, you pull it out of your pack, putting it back in your pack, it takes up a lot of space. And I don't care how tight you squish it down, it still takes up a lot of space. And it's kind of a pain in the butt to work around it to get into stuff in your pack. Uh, that would be the only things I'd do uh, different. Um, the other thing, um, at 58 miles ago, I was in Hillsboro, um, which is just a little small town, I think maybe 20 miles outside of Mont Eagle, uh, roughly. And I had made my, I checked in there on the beginning of day five, the end of day four. And I made my mind up that I was going to push on all the way to the finish. It had been, I'd been up for like 14 hours, but I was not going to take another sleep. So I threw away some stuff so I would lighten my load. I threw away my toothbrush. I threw away my toothpaste. I threw away the A and D. I threw away the extra water bottle holder. I threw away my batteries, which I'd already switched out. Um, I pulled batter, extra batteries out of my little handheld flashlight and threw them away too. Um, I think I, I, I'm gonna guess it brought my pack down to about two and a half pounds. I know when I put it on, it was considerably lighter and it felt better. Uh, again, 
it's a lot of steps and you're carrying a lot of, I mean, three and a half pounds doesn't sound like much, but you're carrying it a long way. Um, so no matter what you do, think about it and think about it really seriously and make sure you really need that in your pack. I guarantee you there were 76 finishers uh, this year. I bet you there were 70 different ways of a pack being packed, maybe even 76. Um, there were a couple, several couples out there or people that went together. I suspect their packs were pretty similar, but you never know. So that's all I got.